life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Okay, you get to start it. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the show. Today's show is kind of a special show because it has an emphasis and kind of a focus on education. So if you're a parent or a child or a young adult or an educator, stand by because uh, we're gonna give you a, a perspective on what God might have to say about educating and um, people going back to school. That's right. If you feel like your kids are floundering, and of course this year there's been all kind of changes in the school system. If you have questions about that, there's three unbelievable women that can show you how they have turned to God. That's right. There's going to be some very informative things happening in this show that might help uh, parents or children or educators kind of um, get rebooted and restarted with the new year. There we go. We are here in 2020, and it is definitely a lot of changes going on. And there is a lot of stress and anxiety among the students, the teachers. What we want to talk about is what, what is different here, and why is it that we have uh, the results that we do with our children and their academics, and their social maturity and their success as they enter into college in the in the work world and uh, just the the, um, the things that are going on here we are so grateful for we we thank God so much all the time and we know it's from finding his secret and it has nothing to do with us the Jewish people you know, that I, I kept studying were taking their children at such an early age and making sure that they knew the, the direction, what their gifts were. So you were hovering over them, looking at their gifts, and then watching them as they developed, because as they developed, something else would come out and something else would come out, or their interests would change. And so just being uh, hovering over them and allowing them to, to find as early as they can, hopefully by the time they're 13, 14 years old, they've chosen a career. We found that that came true, that if you got there early, then they, these children were more directed and it's made, made a, a big difference. Some of the differences that I see in many junior high kiddos, unless they're um, highly academic or they're really gifted in athletics, are not getting the kind of guidance our 13, our 12 and 13 year olds are. Here, it, the help and the guidance and the role models and the purpose are, are ongoing. And so I feel like that that's probably one of the most significant differences that I see in terms of kids making their education relevant. And that's a big piece in, in the school districts is that um, educators are charged to make learning relevant. And it, it's, it's challenging sometimes the students don't understand why do, why do I have to learn this, but I feel like our kiddos understand that I have recognized my gift, I'm learning to please God, and so whatever I'm asked to do in order to pursue that goal is highly relevant. And so it just, just makes everything peaceful and meaningful and happy, and they're not stressed out, and parents are peaceful and not worried. So high school, college, and then, you know, career choices. They, there's no floundering. I, I have zero fear that my grandbabies will be floundering about what, what do I do? What is my purpose? And so I feel like here our kiddos are encouraged and they're applauded and they're, they're pushed in just the right amount and it builds confidence. They don't, they're not dependent on a system. They're, 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 so their confidence is built because they know that they're going the right direction and they're, and they're extremely mature. They're able to handle jobs, plus work, plus serving. Wow. And they're fun. I mean, they're having such a good time. I mean, all of us, I think, had such a ball at the day camp opening when all those kids danced and everything. And it was just like, oh my word, this is the funnest group of overachieving kids in the entire world. 
It's beautiful. It's so true. Well said. Thank you, Molly. Thank you. This year, um, everyone is kind of on an even playing field. I don't care if you've been teaching for one year or you've been teaching for 30 years. No one's ever taught in COVID. Um, so it's very new to all of us. And I think that schools have tried to do the best that they could, you know. And um, we definitely have been kind of forced to be unified because I am co-teaching with a first grade teacher and I love it. I love six and seven year olds. I love all children, but the little ones um, I love a lot and they're a lot of fun, but you know, it's to keep them socially distant. So um, that looks different. You taught me that no matter how many times things change, no matter what it looks like to look to my authority's needs, and whatever my authority needs, I want to back that person up because I know they have a lot on their plate. So I've been really just having a great time watching things change, learning how to take change and still be happy, looking for the enjoyment in life. Because guess what, guys? Six and seven-year-olds are still six and seven-year-olds. And it's hard to have ask them to keep putting it, keeping their mask on or socially distant. One child looked at me and he goes, I just wish I could just give you a hug. And so I said, so and it just broke my heart. And I just looked at him and I said, that's okay. Let's do a virtual hug right now. And I just opened up my arms as wide and I just went like this. And I said, mm, mm, how does that feel? I said, I felt that. Did you feel it? And he was like, yes, thank oh, you. That's and adorable. it's just, if anything, I'm just so glad that in this place we've been taught how to be flexible, how to stay under authority. And one uh, scripture I wanted to bring up was uh, Proverbs 22, 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, I tell you what, if you train up a child in worry, mm -hmm. that's what they're going to grow mm -hmm. up to be. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see. I see a lot of worry from some children. If you train up a child in anxiousness, that's what they're going to portray. Mm -hmm. But if you train up a child to just trust the authority and know that the authority is there to take care of them like our children have been, they're gonna have calmness. They're gonna have peacefulness. They're, if you train up a child to just go with the flow and everything's gonna be all right and you know, have fun, you're gonna see that. So just, you know, I'm so th grateful for you, Gwen, that you taught us how to train up a child. If we know God and we know God is in heaven, we don't have to worry about a thing. So thank you for letting me share tonight. Oh. What you taught us about finding God has literally changed everything in my life. But especially, I think, for my relationship with my children, I really heard what you were talking about education. I just really zoned in on that early. You know, what you're sharing about helping the kids find their gifts and how God meant for children to learn because I really, I was one of those, my parents taught me if you just get a degree, you'll be fine. It'll save you. Education was our family savior. Everybody in my family had to get a degree and you're supposed to get a master's degree and then you'll be fine. And, but they, and they told me that the school would tell me what to major in. You know, the school will take care of that. They'll take care of that. So I was constantly looking to the school to help me. And, and so I went to college and well, they have these wonderful counseling centers that give every test known to man that to test what you should do. And so I took every single one of them, but nothing gave me the answer. And I, I had nine declared majors in college. I went through so many different degrees. <laughs> Finally, I just finished and had to graduate. I mean, literally I had one professor tell me, you can't take any more hours, <laughs> you know, cause I was done. And so they just, anyway. So when to hear that God wanted us to do that for our children. It was about finding what God wanted you to do. And that made education so fun because everything we learned was about God. It was about how he did this and he did that. And just you're looking at what your child lights up about and then you get more of that. Then to see them have so much joy in their professions. In Psalms 112, Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. 
and that is really cool. I mean, so it's very exciting. Wealth and riches are in his house and his righteousness endures forever. Good will come to him who is generous and lends freely, who conducts his affairs with justice. He will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord, and his heart is secure. He will have no fear. He will have no fear. In the end, he will look in triumph on his foes. So what is, what is the answer? What's the answer? Be righteous. Be upright. I mean, be kind to the poor. You, you, if you need to lend money out, you help people. You are, you, you're upright in all your ways. And you, I want to challenge you in being the most upright and kind and gracious gentleman and woman on the planet. And guess what? Then you just trust because if you're that way, everything will come back to you. Everything will come back to you and your children will be lifted up and they'll be mighty in the land. And you, there's no class for that. Thanks for joining us today. And we pray that all these words encourage you and help you with direction. That's right. And if anybody out there has a question or a comment or anything you'd like to ask us, please send us a message and we'll be sure to answer that. And we just continue to pray for you and ask God to bless you and your families uh, in these troubled times, a lot of uncertainty going on. So keep the faith, keep looking up and uh, send us a message. We, we, we'd be glad to hear from you. That's right. We're here for you. Love See you guys. Bye. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.